Hello guys, in today's tutorial I'm going to show you step by step how to install Rain USB and create a bootable device for your Windows. Anyhow, you would need for this to work a blank USB with at least 2 GB storage. Okay, plug in your USB. Um, I already created mine, so I don't need to do it again. Anyhow, it's asking me to format it because it's not the right format, but those are the those are the files that you see after you create the bootable device that would be created, but you cannot see all of them since it's not a Mac. Anyhow, you would need two tools in order for you to create the bootable USB. Anyhow, you need TransMac, you can download that. Let me zoom in for you to see it. There you go. You can either download TransMac or Win32 Disk Manager. Personally, I find TransMac better. It worked out for me a lot better. The Win32 Disk Manager did not create bootable device correctly. Like There was a lot of missing and corrupted files when I tried to boot it. So the TransMac is much better. So first thing first, you go to my computer, like I said, and you would format your USB device, look format, and then follow, you know, instructions. Uh, after that, I'm gonna link both these two files in the below description so you can guys see it there's rain usb d2.0 for intel and the other one is for amd so choose which one you would like and which one you have for your device i mean if you have an intel cpu use intel if you have amd obviously use amd if you have them both you know try them both Anyhow, since I have Intel, I downloaded the Intel one. So I have them both actually, but anyhow, after you download it, okay. Install Transmac, like I said. But you have to, by the way, you have to run Transmac as an administrator in order for it to work. Otherwise, it's gonna tell you, you know, again after the 10 seconds to run it as an ad administrator so since it's only a trial you would have to wait then hit run okay click on your usb device okay you can format the disk from here but I would recommend to just format it to FAT32 from your computer, you know. You don't need to do it in the TransMac. But anyhow, of formatting your USB, you know. You would go back to TransMac. Okay, restore with a disk image. You hit yes, and then like I said, since I ha already have it, I don't want to do it again. You hit yes, and then it will take you to a window where you can choose and pick your file. You pick the RAIN USB 2.0, and you start writing your new rootable device for RAIN USB. So it would take a minute for, in order for it to write. Um, I'm guessing about 15 to 25 minutes depends on your computer so also creating the dual boot USB you need to restart the computer okay you need to access your BIOS and it depends on your BIOS I'll show you what you need to 
deactivate. Anyhow, so we are in the bias configuration. Um, here you go to boot, okay. Turn off secure boot control. If you have OS mode selections, you put them both, you know, CSM and U, EFI. And if you have the option of UEFI, turn it on. Uh, fast BIOS mode, turn it off. Boot device priority, you can choose, you know, your USB bootable device first if you want. But it doesn't matter to be honest. Anyhow. Since I don't have the Option for virtual. Because it's already on, so you need to turn it on anyways. For the VTX. Go to your USB flash drive they created. Hit enter. Here we go. So the boot Mac, Mac OS for Rain USB will start. You go to options. You can choose to delete this one or not. Like me. Personally, I don't have problems when I boot my device by leaving it on. But a lot of people do when it wouldn't boot. So you need to unselect inject Intel. And for the boot, ARGS, like I did, just leave this. Go back. And then. Boot your Mac OS. Here we are, it's done. So, with this Rain USB Virgin, um, a lot of computers, the touchpad mouse does not work, as you see, like, cannot move it. Um, even the keyboard does not work. It's any usable because of the configuration of the KTX. It's not compatible with this one. Anyhow, it's an easy fix. All you need to do is plug in your USB mouse. If you have a USB keyboard, do it to Just plug it and then hit next.
and hit continue, setting key, continue, you have to pull up the terminal. And then, in my case, my keyboard does not work, okay? So, cannot type anything. But what you need to type is rain USB, R-A-1-N USB, and then you hit enter, check rain, would open up. But if you just have the USB mouse, I have a solution. I created a different tutorial for explaining to you step by step how to fix it. Copy this, okay. Copy Rain USB, go back to Utilities, Terminal, you paste whatever you copied. And then you would wonder how to hit Enter. Easy, click on Edit, Marks, then mark a line and send return, or you can hit the one next, but doesn't matter either way. After clicking, on return check rain window comes up 0 0.9.0 you hit the verbose boot option check click start next phone will automatically go to recovery mode Okay. Hit start. Follow directions. Go into DFU mode. Boom. The real buck is booting, baby. And that's how you jailbreak. Your phone using Checkrain if you are a Windows user. Uh, shout out to Checkrain and to the guys who created Rain USB. The credit goes to all of them. All I'm doing in this video is just repeating and hopefully making it more simpler and easier for you guys to understand how to install Rain USB. And how to jailbreak your phone using check rain. Peace out. See you next time.